George. Come in. Just made some lasagna for you. Thought you might like some. Thanks. Thank Jess for me too. I will. How are you holding up, George? Did you have a rest since the service? Oh, drink. No, I'm all right, thanks. Have a seat. Beautiful service this morning, George. Mm. You know, if there's anything you need, Jess and I are here for you. Yeah, you know, some of the guys are going on a fishing trip in the next few days. Maybe you should come along. I understand what you're trying to do, Hank. I just want to be alone. I'm sorry. That's okay. I understand. Get some food into you. I'll swing by in the morning. You take care, George. Still awake. I couldn't sleep when I heard you come home. How was school today? Um, I didn't go. I wasn't feeling very well. Oh, what's the matter, honey? You feeling ill? Is sick in the tummy or something hurting? No, not physically. Oh, Helen, let's not go there again. Look, we've had that discussion. Do you think I'm making it up? No, I don't think you're making it up. I think you believe it's real. But it's all in your mind, sweetheart. Literally, Dad, the nail in the head. Mum was here. Now don't you do that now. Why not? At least she understood. Bringing your mother's memory into this, God rest her soul, is not an option. Look, Helen, you're a healthy girl. You can see, you can walk. Okay, I don't want to hear you it. You don't want to hear it because you know it's a cop-out. You really believe that, don't you? Look, Helen, it... it's not as though you've lost a leg or something. I mean, then you really would have a problem. See what I mean? She said you would say that. You know what, Dad? Yeah, that would be really terrible if I had one leg. But that's not me. That's not my problem. I only know what's going on inside my head. That's my reality. That's my missing leg. It's been a long day. I've, I've got to tidy up here before I go to bed. You see if you can get some rest. The world isn't going to end if the dishes aren't washed, Dad. should have a read of this book. It explains so much about what she's going through. Mary. No, no, honey, listen to me. Our daughter has a problem. It's a phase. It's not a problem. It's not a bloody phase, George. 
it's a serious illness. Here. Uh, yeah. Do you read that? She's a teenager. Her hormones are going crazy. Look, she just needs time to get over it. No. We have to do something. Well, one day... Quiet, George. Sweetheart, hey, hey, hey. Sweetheart, what's the matter? <laughs> Thank God, man. Thank God. Why does it have to be like this? Why do you have to go? <laughs> oh, baby, it's okay. Taking you to see a psychiatrist today. Oh shit, Mary. You don't get it, do you? Get what? I'm not prepared to sit back and allow you to avoid the issue. I'm taking her. No. Look, no daughter of mine is gonna go and see some shrink. She needs help. Nothing wrong with our little girl. Look, she's just a bit melancholy. She'll come round. She won't. Not without help. Honey. Helen has an affliction. Just like me. But hers doesn't have to be fatal. I don't want to talk about that now. Why? What are you afraid of? You're afraid that, that something you created isn't perfect? Helen is not ill. Why can't you admit it? It doesn't make you any less of a man. You've really bought into this, haven't you? It's exactly what they want you to do. Yeah, take this little pill and all your troubles will disappear. Anyway, where would we get the money for these witch doctors? These people are trained professionals. Stop being naive. I'm naive. Helen? Honey, are you okay? I'm going for a walk. George. I don't know how long I have.
feel guilty. Why is that, Helen? Because my mother skipped a few chemo sessions to pay for this. It's because of my father. Helen, to your father, you're perfect without a flaw. He thinks I'm making it up. Look, it's not uncommon. What are you afraid of? Our daughter has problems. <clears throat> but hers doesn't have to be fatal. <laughs> Thank you. 